Since the grounding of the mine countermeasure ship X Guardian on January 17th, sailors have been waiting for the arrival of their new replacement ship for a hull swap. On March 27th, their call was answered by USS Warrior when it arrived in Sasebo, Japan. Petty Officer Che Rose speaks to former Guardian sailors about their new mission and new home. After running aground back in January, the crew of USS Guardian was without a ship for more than a month. Today, they get their new ship. Uh, Today is when the USS Warrior is coming to Sasebo, Japan. It's going to replace the uh, USS Guardian, and uh, we're welcome to have it as our new home. So behind us, you can see the USS Warrior. That's the Guardian crew's new ship. She's on the back of the Super Servant. That vessel actually sinks in the water. They move the Warrior on. It floats up and was towed all the way here from Bahrain. Though Guardian crew members have been without a ship, it does not mean they've been on vacation. In the time that we've had between moving from ship to ship, we've been doing a lot of studying, getting ready for advancement, getting ready uh, for the new ship with our EOS programs and engineering programs. And even though they've been staying busy, the crew can't wait to have their new home. We're, we're excited. We've been waiting on the USS Warrior to arrive in Sasebo, Japan. We've been uh, training like how we fight, and we just can't wait to get back out to sea. So it's been difficult for the crew, both officers and enlisted, not having a ship. Sometimes there's a sense of confusion. Who are we? What are we doing here? We don't really know. But now with Warrior arriving, we have a clear purpose. And now with that purpose in mind, the crew can get busy getting their new ship ready for sea. Petty Officer Che Rose, Fleet Activity, Sasebo, Japan. From the Defense Media Activity, I'm Petty Officer James Stolopek.